All right, here we go. Question number three in our college algebra, homework number six, wants us to graph the function. Here we have f of x is the absolute value of x plus five. And then it wants us to determine if the function is one to one using the horizontal line test. So over here in this window, we're going to look at how do we do this manually. And then we're going to look at how to do it electronically here. So the first thing I want to mention is that we can uh, recall when we covered the section on transformations, we have parent functions. And here the parent function would be f of x equals just the absolute value of x. And that graph, remember that an absolute value always makes a v. So the parent function is going to be a v centered at the origin going up. What we have is we have a function that has a horizontal shift. The plus 5 is inside the absolute value, plus is left. So our graph would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the left, but it's still going to be a V facing up. So to graph that, we're going to pick the absolute value tool and we're going to go to the vertex which is at negative 5 click the graph to plot another point and so I'm going to need another point now I know that the standard absolute value has a slope of 1 so if I go over 1 up 1 and then if I go over 1 up 1 again that's going to give me the V here because there's no stretch or shrink. And we can check that. And then it says, is this function one to one? Well, if I use the horizontal line test going across, I can see that a horizontal line will touch more than once. And so that is a no. So is it no because there is at least one horizontal line that intersects the graph? Or is it no because no horizontal line intersects the graph more than once? Okay, so we know that it's this one because there is at least one horizontal line that intersects the graph more than once. I can draw any horizontal line and touch more than once. So it's going to be this answer here. And let's check it. Bam! So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.